Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your storage on your Acer Nitro 5. Guys, this is a uh, pretty cool laptop as you can see. But uh, unfortunately, maybe you are upset because you have run out of space and you're wondering, how do I upgrade it? How do I add another one of these? So I have here a four terabyte SSD M2 chip guys, M2 chip, all right. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to install this into your computer. And um, so yeah, first of all, you want to just uh, make sure that your computer is turned off, flip your laptop over, all right, and uh, you know, just sit it like that. Now, as you can see, I have already removed the screws, but for the purpose of the video, I will show you where the screws are located, okay? You have one screw just here, you need to undo that, one here, one here, one here, 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 one here, one here, one here, and one here in the middle. Okay, get all these screws out. You wanna use a star tip screwdriver, guys, all right? Get all these screws out one by one, and um, basically, you wanna go around. There's a little corner just up in here, and uh, you just wanna sort of just pop that up, and that you're gonna hear it make a, a weird sound, and you're probably gonna be thinking, oh, I hope I'm not breaking my laptop, but, uh. Yeah, you won't be breaking your laptop, so you just wanna just pop this up like that, get that up, okay? And the, you're gonna go around the laptop, right? Okay, this is very hard doing this with one hand, but um, as you can see, came off pretty damn easily, right? And you just go around and, um, you know, make sure that you can pull that off like that. So that is your cover while you're at it. Make sure that you give your your fan areas a good clean. Make sure that you clean your fans if you need to clean them because, uh, you know, it's a hard to clean laptop fans, guys. So make sure that you do that while you can. All right, so over here, you now have your, your laptop. Uh, it is now open here, all right? You'll see right there, this is uh, one of the M2 chips, all right? You're gonna leave this one alone. You're not gonna touch this one unless you feel like reinstalling Windows 11 all over again and uh, reinstalling all your programs all over again, you are not going to touch this one. Instead, you're going to come over here, right there. So I'm gonna zoom in real quick. I'm gonna zoom in, okay. Uh, here, uh, let me get the screwdriver. Right there, this is your M2 chip. This is where you're going to push your new little uh, hard drive into, all right? And then over here, there is a screw, you're going to undo this screw and you are going to put your little SSD in here, you're gonna plug it in and then you're going to use this screw to, uh, you know, screw it back in, which will be exactly the same as this one over there, all right? Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pull out my M2 chip and uh, I'm gonna come back when I've done that. Okay, so as you can see, I have now got my little M2 chip. Again, this is a four terabyte. It's a good size. Um, if you use a lot, if you're doing video editing, I recommend you get a nice size SSD slot, all right? You wanna go in nice size, all right? I'm just gonna sit this here. I'm gonna go ahead over there. I'm going to now undo this screw right here, just like that. I'm undoing my screw. As you can see, it's a very short and small screw. So you're just gonna pop that out sit it to the side. Don't lose that screw. These screws, they're a pain in the ass to find. You have to order them online and that is not fun. All right, now you're gonna get your hard drive and you are going to uh, going to just pop this in here like that, all right? Just gonna pop this in just like that, all right? And then you're going to just push this down like that, all right? And you're going to use your little screw to screw that in right there. All right, so I'm going to come back after I've screwed this in and uh, you'll see the final result, which is going to be quite obvious in my opinion. Right, and I just want to make one note here that when you push this in like that and, you, and when you go and push it down, you're going to feel like, what if I snap it or what if I break it? Uh, that is completely normal for this uh, to sort of have a little bit of a ricochet. Um, this is very normal, okay, so don't be scared to push this down, 
and uh, and screw it in. Just make sure that when you do push this down, make sure that, that, that this is in completely. This needs to be all the way in, all right? This here, that needs to go all the way in, okay? It's, it's, you can only push it so far, it's not gonna go any further, all right? But just make sure that you've got that in right. Okay, I can't stress that enough. So, um, and you just push that down, hold it down, get your screwdriver and screw, and then just screw it in. Oops, <laughs> here we go. So I am now screwing this in, screwing this in right here. All right, don't screw it in. You don't need to do it too tight, just enough until it sort of just stops, just like that. Only a little bit, you don't need to screw it in hard, all right. Um, and now that is installed, that is in, um, seems quite, quite sturdy, all good. All right, um, my fans are still quite good, so I don't need to clean them anytime soon. But uh, if your fans are dirty, I highly recommend you just get a little vacuum or, or something, a little bit of air pressure and just ch -ch -ch suck, like get rid of it all. Um, anyways, that's done. That's your new hard drive that is installed over here. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put my case back on. Um, it's the same process, all right? You're going to get your case. You're going to line it up with the areas. And uh, you're just going to just push it in, all right? You'll hear it click. Completely normal for it to click, all right? Make sure that that is all in and steady. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put all my screws back in. I'm going to come back. We're going to turn the video on again. And uh, we're going to make sure that this hard drive has been recognized and that it is now in the computer. Because if it's not recognized or in the computer, then you may need to go into your BIOS settings uh, to enable that, which uh, hopefully not, because usually, you know, they will just get picked up and uh, it's usually plug and play, but uh, let's just make sure to be safe. All right, I have uh, gone ahead, I've installed all the screws. As you can see, all the screws are now installed. So uh, now it's time to uh, flip the laptop over, switch it on and uh, make sure that this has now recognized the hard drive. All right, we're gonna do that right now. Uh, I, I found a, uh, a bit of information um, where you have to go and uh, you basically go in here uh, you go type in uh, manage storage spaces or disks and volumes. Um, so you can go there and then um, your drive that you just installed should show up here in this list. And then um, basically like you're going to have a, a few options there um, where you're going to have to go onto your disk. You're going to have to go um, uh, like to do a partition. So I can't really backtrace on this one as I, I don't have, you know, I didn't record that process. But um, what I do have is a, uh, a guide. And um, it, it will show you how to do this whole uh, process. Okay, yeah, so this, this is the guide I use, man. Um, I didn't look at the video, but I just used this one. Uh, so yeah, how to add a hard drive. Um, you just go down. This is this is what I did. You know, open disk management, which is what I showed you. Yeah, and you, you got to initialize the disk over here. You got to initialize it. Um, it was a bit of a different menu if you were using Windows 11, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, make sure you go and check uh, which motherboard you're using, um, and uh, you can select. You know, you want to make sure you choose GPT if your motherboard is UEFI uh, for the BIOS. Um, and then you'll go down, you'll do that, accept it. And then it'll basically like, you know, you do the petition, specify your petition size. So it'll, it'll tell you the maximum volume in there anyways. Um, so you'll do that and you'll add that and you address, you know, assign your drive letter. So you can just do whatever letter you want there. That's fine. And then, um, yeah, you'll do the format petition. So after that, you'll do your formatting. And then that will show up just like it did for me. It'll show up in there. And um, yeah, that's that's basically what it is, you know. So I was under the impression that you could plug and play because, you know, that's what I've, you know, usually done uh, with all of my, um, you know, Windows installations. But um, that's like building computers here and there. But um, yeah, I thought that that would just be the case where I just plug it in and read it straight away and everything's fine. But 
yeah, I guess it's been a little while and, um, yeah, so I figured it out. That's how you do it. Uh, I'll link the, I'll link the guide in the description for you guys as well. And, um, yeah, uh, good luck with your, uh, new hard drives and, uh, yeah, hope you, uh, enjoyed the video and, um, now you've got, you know, two hard drives there and, uh, yeah, you can make sure you test it, install something to it as well. Um, make sure it works. I'm sure it will, but, um, you know, just be safe and sorry, right? But, uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. All right, peace out.